Hello and welcome to Southern RPG, I'm Sovereign and today we're back in Soul Mask and I finished off my pyramid build and we're just going to do a little showcase on it, I'm going to show you the inside, I'm going to show you what we've done on the outside, how we finished it all up um, and then go from there. If you want to see how we built the village, the rest of this village over here, then we do have a video, I'll stick that in a card up above and let me know in the comments if you have any ideas to make things better, update things, uh, if there's anything that you think is wrong, etc, etc. Now, this pyramid build, it was quite large. There's our new little uh, cat. They have the weirdest eyes, man. Like, why can't, like, Ark or anything ever get these animals' eyes right? They always look wonky and shit. Anyway, uh, we have this pyramid build now. It's all finished. All the towers are done. The roof is done. And the inside is filled in. However, it's too damn big. I can fit everything inside of it, which I fit all the crafting stations, everything that I can upgrade to at least uh, with the tier one, tier two one, uh, the tier two uh, upgrades for each of the stations. We've got uh, our forges and stuff in there, and there's still a hell of a load of space for everything else. Let me just get rid of that bloody hammer thing. So here's the outside of the pyramid. I really like the way it's turned out. There is some things that I don't like with the, like how it's just all one piece and it all goes down. And it's kind of like, I want to maybe in a future pyramid, have it in a more stepping style. So maybe have go up one and then go in with a the ceiling, then go up with a ramp, come out with a ceiling and have it sort of have some indentations along of it. And maybe like turn that into like viewing platforms around the sides and stuff. Uh, that's definitely something that I'll try to do in the next build. But I wanted to move on to another build after we've completed this one, which is this one. I want to go on to build a snow fortress, uh, which will be my next project, uh, which will be starting hopefully today. I have been building a lot of stone stuff. As you can see in my inventory right now, I've got a lot of uh, pillars and stuff and beds and stuff because i want to go build a teleporter set it up um in the snow biome once i get some t2 chill mods and then i'll build our fortress out in the snow so we can farm all of the high tier stuff so as we go into the front room here we have the bonfire now i'll put it on an elevated platform to give it a little bit more of a look and we've got the heads of the creatures that we've killed so far i'm only up to the ape i haven't even tried uh the tempest uh, griffin or the mammoth yet and we managed to kill the tier two saber tooth that was let's say a difficult thing to do that was absolutely insane uh, there was a lot of dodging and it took a hell of a long time, especially since I was only doing it alone. It just took a long time. So as we go into the first floor, we have storage boxes here. Now, I didn't even know what the hell to put in this space because everything is kind of downstairs. So I have these two boxes here, which are sacks the butlers running around filling up all of the uh, torches and stuff. Because I've got torches bloody everywhere. They can fill those up and uh, the fire bowls on the roof and stuff. And I actually added in kind of, without putting doors on them, I kind of added secret locations for chests so if you something that you wanted to do in a pvp server for example like have chests built into the wall and you can have it to where you can mark it in your own way maybe uh there, there's loads of different ways you can do it you can put a pillar down and then have the wall there so it fills in and then you know behind that wall is uh two chests or you can have two torches on a singular wall and each uh, the every time you have two torches on a singular wall that means that there's something behind it or well, there's loads of different things that you can do uh, to hide your goodies. Now, we do have these two large back rooms, high ceilings to be able to stick any of the bigger um, buildings inside of it, like the fort, the smelter and stuff like that. And we have another room the same size in the back side. And we have stairs going up to another floor, which has beds and chests. So you can have specific chests named for specific uh, tribesmen that you have. So they can always have gear and a replacement set if you need it. Just thought that might be a little bit of a good idea and we have our room our chamber in here that does the um resurrection slash messes with your mask and stuff now if you don't know what this mask is and this armor is the saber tooth armor set after i managed to kill the berserk um saber tooth i unlocked that armor and made it straight away just with an iron set so it does have some sets i will do some guides on each of the sets once i unlock them i'll do the saber tooth armor set guide today and on each corner over here let's go actually let's go over here first because this is the way i got the sacks to access the ceiling and the torches out here so we can fill these in so we have these uh standing fire bowls that he's able to access through here and also we added some staircases down here so you can run along and fill these up run along and go all the way around however he can actually just go down onto the step and then run up this roof you can actually just run up the roof and he goes all the way up here 
and he can fill in as we have up here our teleporter i added these two gates here just to make it look a little bit nicer i don't know i quite like the way that it made it look it makes it look like a bigger doorway with a portal in the middle and we have all of the building stuff going around here and downstairs we have gates going off in all directions now this one goes off into the water which isn't i mean it's okay if i'm coming from that side when i'm running over to do the dungeon and stuff so i can get straight inside this way goes off in this direction and obviously this one goes in this direction we have gates on all sides i was gonna put you can see how he's just running down the side of the roof there they can do that uh, which is actually really nice because I thought I would have to build another stair structure to come up here. But we don't need to. We can kind of just run up the side. Now if we go back inside, if I don't kill myself by falling. We have that on both sides by the way. So you have access from both sides. Now in all three directions, I have stairs going down. Now I built these little stairways so they can look pretty nice rather than just having it as a block outline. And in the space that we have underneath, I actually put some secret chest locations. Well, they're not really secret because there's a door on it. But like, again, if you can mark where these walls are, not, not many people are going to look at the blueprints of a building and think, oh, there, there's space there. Well, sometimes they do. Some guys, they're pretty intuitive and ingenuity. Like they have a lot of ingenuity. Like I got two in here. We can put multiple levels of doors that so they have to break through four sets of doors to get into that place and by the time they do that there will may be traps or something that you can place underneath so every second door there's a full trap where you can just like uh, set a trap here and have it as a just even have this door here as a deter as a decoy so you know they break open the door they come in they break open the second door and then they fall into the trap because they see chests. they're like oh chess and then boom in the trap and done so down in the bottom corners we have a lot of space like this is a lot of space and i kind of didn't know what to do with any of this stuff because there's there's not many furniture items now i can i've unlocked the dining tables and stuff there's another little secret uh like a smaller little room there we can build in um we have another staircase and in the back here there's another area where we can build something else this is where the gate dropped in so i kind of wanted to door this off and sealing this off and have it as another little storage room and then we have another big open space in this corner and then in one corner we managed to actually fit all of the where is it gone where are you hiding over here we fit all the crafting stations in a singular room like this and they're mostly upgraded some of them needed tier three but it's not going to take any more space and you can see there's a hell of a lot of space in the middle so even if you want a couple of smelters on the blasting furnace and you want to do a couple more furnaces you can just build them out and have them stepped so people can get in there this is more of a like a get everything in one room kind of deal i kind of wish that um i actually built this in a more i could literally just make these rooms smaller so i could build some walls in here to go up and around and then have a doorway and then build some walls in here to make the rooms more small so you can have it more fitted and more lived in but uh, i mean this was a project that took a hell of a long time and i had a lot of resources and i do need to move on to the next stage so i do need to start building outwards i need to start going over towards um, I mean, I can get enough, more than enough iron for a single player run. Like, I'm not PvPing or anything on this server. But there is actually, speaking of servers, tonight at 8 p.m. UTC, they actually are releasing the new Freeman servers. And I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to run over there and see how mad that is. I'll probably drop a couple of videos on uh, the PvP as it, as it comes along. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the pyramid as a whole. I wish there was more furniture and more things that we could place inside to make it look a little better. Um, maybe I should have just literally made the room smaller and have each room. So I have one room be the armor crafting room and then which I, I might do in the future. But as I said, I need to move on to get start going on to the steel because we're almost there. We're at 46, so I'm almost going to be there. And it, because I've been building so much and getting the frills to do all the work, I haven't been getting any awareness XP. So that was like uh, something that I'll go and do. I'll run over and grab iron nodes, etc. and level up my exper uh, awareness experience once I'm over there. But what I have in my backpack right now is actually the stuff needed to create an outpost, which I'll do a guide on how to do that with a teleporter so we can teleport between there and here. And I'll build it somewhere. Oh, a little bit lag because of the amount of buildings and stuff that come in and it's over uh, so i can set the teleport up there and i can teleport between the pyramid and the iron spawn um, and then once we build uh, get enough iron down and start building the steel and getting the meteorite from the snow zone with the teleporter then i will build our massive blackstone fortress like i'm gonna build a hexagonal fortress that's gonna have towers coming out of it and everything and it's gonna have watch pieces and fire lanterns coming out of it it's gonna look really cool i think especially with the idea that i'm coming out with so hopefully it's something that you guys would be interested in let me know if there's anything else you want me to try and build if there's any ideas that you have if you want to join my discord and post in the screenshots channel any of the builds that you've done i'd love to see some of them uh, I'm really a big fan of uh, watching people's videos and you can even post your videos if you're doing videos on builds 
I post them in the Discord, so, uh, people, so other people can watch them as well. Like, I really don't mind. I love seeing videos of people's builds, etc. Right, so that's my pyramid build and finishing off this whole area. Actually, quickly, we did put uh, some wooden walls around because I got invaded and the invaders went straight underneath and started attacking the pillars, so that wasn't nice. But we have, uh, this build is now pretty much finished and it's time to move on to the next one and go to the next tier and start teleporting my stuff over there and like breaking stuff, um, like uh, moving resources and mounts and stuff over to the snow zone uh, once I get those T2 chill mods. I want to thank you all for watching. This is Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign, your one-stop shop to all of your survival gaming goodness. I want to thank you for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.